Hey everyone, Sether here, and today I'm going to be talking about why I keep switching between Linux and Windows for the past few years, and why I finally decided on just sticking with Windows. So for some quick context, it's my spring break now, and uh, one of my goals for this break was that I wanted to install Linux on my PC. Currently, I have Windows installed on it, and I basically use it as a machine to run all of my Windows apps. Uh, or anything that requires a lot of storage because my main computer uh, is this M1 MacBook Air with only 250 gigs. So uh, it's really nice to just offload all of my bulky programs onto this computer, uh, such as any video editing or uh, music production or anything like that. I had Windows 10 on it, but I wanted to install Linux because it was a cleaner experience and I like the customizability that Linux provides. So I started off by installing just base Arch with KDE Plasma, but I've already installed Arch before and I went through the whole process of installing Bluetooth managers and network managers and through that whole experience, uh, even though I liked the fact that I could control literally everything on the system, I felt like the charm was really gone and I really just wanted something that worked out of the box. So because of that, I ended up switching to Pop OS, which is an Ubuntu-based distro. I liked the out-of-the-box experience, but after using Arch for so long, I really got used to using the AUR, and because of that, I didn't really like using Pop OS anymore. Instead, I ended up switching to Endeavor OS, which is a more prepackaged version of Arch that still is pretty close to stock Arch. My plan was to get a Windows virtual machine that passed through my full graphics card so that I would have a pretty much fully fledged Windows experience. But after installing some of my apps, I realized that I would be in my virtual machine like 99% of the time. So because of that, I ended up just switching back to Windows. The reason why I'm telling you this whole process of going to Linux and then back is to showcase one of the problems that I'm facing with OS's and just software in general. On one hand, I really like customizability, but after doing it once, I really end up appreciating stability and out of the box experience a lot more. I end up realizing that I have to jump through a lot less hurdles on Windows than I need to on Linux. After going through this process, I realized that I should really maximize compatibility on my PC, given that I really just use it as a crutch for my Mac. So after going through that, I had to decide which Windows will I go with, Windows 10 or 11? Windows 11 looks nicer and has better WSL support, but uh, it's not natively supported on my laptop because it has a Xeon chip that isn't supported by Windows 11 yet. Windows 10 on the other hand doesn't have those upsides, but is at least supported by Windows. I first installed Windows 10, uh, but then after realizing that I had used an online account, uh, which made all of my files go to OneDrive, I realized that I'd have to reinstall again, which gave me a second opportunity to choose between Windows 10 and 11. I then realized that Windows 10 would drop support in 2025, so Windows 11 became the clear choice. After installing Windows 11, I tried to debloat it as much as possible. To do this, I used two scripts, uh, Chris Titus Tech's Windows Utility, and also This Is Win 11. I'll link both of those down in the description. I use these programs as basically a nanite on steroids and also to remove telemetry and a lot of other Windows features and programs that I didn't really want. After this, I had a really clean install of Windows 11. After this whole process, I feel like my biggest takeaway is that uh, having something work just out of the box is something that I didn't appreciate as much as I should have before. And although I don't love Windows, I certainly appreciate it more now. Anyway, that's all I have for today. If you like the video, like it, leave a comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See ya.